Okay, so today I received a Commodore 64 from a gentleman named Sean, um, who uh, I met on Facebook um, in one of the forums, one of the Commodore forums. He was, uh, he posted some pictures of a problem that he had um, with his Commodore uh, from a Diag uh, cartridge, and it looked like a memory error. So I asked him if he wanted to uh, well, he asked if anybody wanted to buy the computer, so I did, and we had a nice conversation. Um, very nice gentleman. So, Sean, thank you for sending me this. Um, so what we're going to do today, I'm opening it from the bottom so I don't have to blur out the shipping label and, uh, and show the private address information. So, again, he's already kind of diagnosed it. Um, it showed some errors on the Diag cartridge. So let's just go through it. Um, he told me he took out the shield. He's sending it without the screws. So <laughs> got that. Something. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, he took out the side plate. All right. So this is what we've got. And uh, let's take a look and see. Again, when I looked at his initial Diag screens, it looked like it was... A typical RAM error. So let's, um, well, since he's already taken out the screws, let's just go ahead and open this. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so the screws are also, took out the screw for the, for the motherboard as well. So he's made it very easy for us. Okay. So this is what we've got. Well, he wasn't kidding when he said this was a very clean board, and it really is a very clean board. Um, very nice. Um, I'm not going to bother with the VIC for now. Let's just see what we've got. I'm not. All the chips are soldered except for the SID. <laughs> um, so let's. And he said that the SID worked. He's, he got sound out of it, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and plug this in, and let's see what we've got here. Okay, go ahead and turn this thing on. All right, out of memory. That's typically a RAM situation, right? So let's go ahead and first of all, let's go ahead and put the dead test because the dead test um, will shed a lot of light on what we've got to deal with here. So. All right, so let me point this at the screen here so we can see if we can see any flashes. Okay, two flashes. So that usually points to uh, two flashes, uh, U24. Okay, so um, just for, you know, just for, just for laughs here, let me change this to this new ROM that I've been fiddling around with, um, the DES test it's called, and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so on through the zero page, the stack page, ah, okay, bit six. So bit six seems to be an issue. And when we match up the bits um, to the chips, so bit zero would be U21, bit one would be U9, and then they just start escalating in numbers from there altern alternately. So bit zero would be um, 21, bit not one, but two would be 22, bit four would be 23, bit uh, six um, would be 24. So this, let me just restart that. So this matches up bit six is U24. So this matches up with what the dead test has told us as well. So, yeah, bit six, and that would be U24. So I'll put a little thing on the screen on what the bits 
correlate to as far as the ICs, but you can also, I believe, find it in the dead test manual as well. Um, okay, so I got verification basically from two different tests that we should be looking at U24. So U24, let me see if I can bring this down a little bit. Um, U24 would be this, this chip right here. And in feeling it out a little bit here, I'm going to turn this thing on and just leave it on for a second, see if it gets hot. And um, yeah, I'm not feeling any excess heat, which, you know, if it was shorted, that's, you know, usually it'd get pretty hot or it'd start, it would start warming up after, after a few seconds. So I don't feel any excess heat, but nonetheless, the dead test and the Desmod test both, uh, I mean, Desmond's test both uh, clued us into U24. So I'm gonna go ahead and desolder and socket U24, put a new chip in, this might be a short video. So let's see what happens. And just because this one chip um, looks bad in the front, right up front, doesn't mean that there's no other chips that are bad. Um, you know, that's just a sorry. I think you've seen in many of my videos, it kind of daisy chains <laughs> as well. Um, and it could also be the multiplexer. So let's take, uh, let's take that chip out, replace it, and we'll be right back. Okay. So here we're back again. So you can see that, um, I socketed and replaced U24 here. I haven't tested it yet. So here's the, uh, the old RAM chip right here so let's go ahead and um, test this guy here real quick and we should be able to confirm that this chip was bad as soon as I can put it into the socket there okay Okay, so we can see that it failed. So we know that chip was bad. That's this confirmation. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Hopefully it'll be an easy one. We don't have any other RAM chips that are, that are bad here. Okay. I'm just going to turn it on without a cartridge. There we go. Okay. So let me go ahead and put the diag, give it a diag test just to make sure the sound works. Nothing wrong with the SID chip. All right, had to turn the sound on. So U1, U2, 18, and the ports are bad because I don't have a full harness. But we know the SID works. This board is um, pretty pretty darn clean, um, even the bottom. I didn't even have to really put flux on the board to take out the, uh, to take out the chip. Um, so yeah, so this will be a pretty short video, like I said. I um, want to thank Sean very much for sending me the computer. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, like I said, a real nice board. So in summary, the, you know, just knock this off. Um, we did a test um, with, a, with a dead test, two flashes, U24 was the issue, um, socketed U24. We also verified the dead test with um, the Desmond test. So, you know, uh, you know that, was, that was something different. So in the future, I got a real nice surprise coming up, a real cool video with a special guest. Um, and we're going to spotlight this guy. Um, we're going to throw it on 128D. There's two super CPUs and different versions, two, two versions as well. Um, the 64 and one for the 128. This is the super CPU for the 128, the 128. So I'm going to put this on in 128D. Um, 
going to have my special guest come and show us how to use this um, along with Geos 128 and uh, Wheels and, uh, you know, get um, get a little bit more insight on some of the uh, business uses, really, that people were doing with the Commodores as well. So stay tuned for that coming up. Like I always say, live for today. Make sure that uh, you treat every day like it's your last. All right, there you go. Peace out. Thank you.